What's going on y'all, it's your boy Crazy One here with a review on the GH5, but not just a normal review on the GH5. This one is a special review um, because I've been shooting with this thing for the better part of six or seven months now and I did my research and there's a whole bunch of spec reviews so if you want a spec review go out and look up YouTube there's plenty of spec reviews about this about you know the 10 bit this and the all eye that and the dynamic range and all that good stuff it's all out there for you and I'm not going there but the one thing I want to do I want to highlight the ibis on this thing the in body stabilization on this thing is so freaking amazing i'm going to show you a few clips and i i didn't realize what how much power this thing had until i actually had to put it to work work i own a ronin s and i do use this with the ronin s but i'm going to show you some handheld stuff that i shot and it is ridiculous how good this in-body stabilization is. I recently shot a WNBA game and this one was, uh, it really put me to the test and I had to shoot this thing handheld. Now, if you know anything about basketball, especially pro basketball, it's a lot faster than say, going to your kids little league basketball game. You have balls getting passed left and right, trick passes, you have three point shots, you have fast breaks and layups and a whole gambit of things that can happen when you're shooting and the whole point of it is if you're going to be on the court on the floor shooting a pro game you have to keep up with the action it's not even the fact that i'm keeping up with the action it's the fact that you can look at this footage and see how incredibly smooth it is i am doing all of this handheld with no stabilization i had a comment on facebook when i posted this video and somebody said did you just uh use the sports mode on the ronin s i didn't use any gimbal any stabilization other than what is in this body right here so you need to check this thing out now there's a couple of things that you can do to add to the in-body stabilization that's already there if you go into your menu settings and go into the camera settings and then go into where it says stabilizer stabilizer's got a few options for you to enhance the stabilization that's already there of course if you have a lens that has stabilization inside of it it'll go into dual stabilization or even more um, so if you go into the operating mode you'll see there's a symbol of a little hand that shows that if your in body stabilization is on or not but there are a few extra operating uh, tips that are there um, if you go to the option underneath it's called the e stabilization the e stabilization adds an extra bit of electronic stabilization it's kind of like an in body warp stabilizer for your camera if anybody uses a uh, warp stabilizer in post it kind of does that in camera for you however there is a little caveat to it that it does kind of add a little bit of extra strain to your battery because you're using more power to run that software within the camera then you have the is lock which is my favorite the is lock which is right under e stabilization if you turn that on you have the ability to hand hold your gh5 like you're on a tripod or a monopod or something it is so smooth it is so still you can almost walk with it and here's a shot of me literally walking with this mode on with no gimbal or anything because i was basically just didn't want to pull out my gimbal at that time so i tried to do a walking shot and you can see i'm walking with this bad boy pretty smoothly to be a handheld shot so these are the options that are there for you if you want to enhance the in-body stabilization of your gh5 but of course when you activate these extra features that increase the stabilization you are going to use up the battery more quick more quickly than you would by just turning all the stuff off and putting it on a stabilizer a gimbal or a fly cam or something like that uh, to do the stabilization with a device or to do it physically so it is a trade-off you will lose maybe i'm gonna say uh instead of going maybe four or five hours with the battery you might go three hours three and a half hours with the battery i normally 
with these settings on, I can use two batteries throughout a whole day and I can be just fine. And of course, if one battery runs out, I can just go charge it off when I'm using the other battery and I'm pretty much good for the whole day. So check those settings out. If you have a GH5, go out there, do some shooting and you know, show the world what you got because this is a really good tool. I mean, the autofocus, yes, it's been fine tuned, yes, Panasonic, you know, issued out a couple of firmware for it. The autofocus is not there the way it should or the way we would like it to be. However, the in-body stabilization is something that just cannot be beat in this camera. So if you've checked these things out, how do you think about it? How do you feel? Have you used it? What is your best experience? Sometimes give me your worst experience. Tell me in the comments below, let me know. And as always, you can check the affiliate links. If you have not tried out a GH5 and you wanna pick one up for yourself, check out our affiliate links. I'll even um, put down the links to the lens and the Ronin, all those gear that I use, they're down below in the description. So we'll see you next time and happy shooting. Go out there and get them.